Gilgamesh, an eminent and powerful figure in Mesopotamian history, has been a subject of great fascination for generations. His heroic deeds and exploits have been passed down through epic poems and texts, preserving his legacy for centuries. For many years, there has been a debate among historians about the existence of Gilgamesh, with some dismissing him as a mere mythological figure. But recently, after drying up of the Euphrates River, the tomb of Gilgamesh was discovered in Iraq. This is a remarkable discovery, and it has left archaeologists and scientists shocked. Join us today as we journey through the fascinating story of Gilgamesh and explore the mysteries surrounding his life and legacy. Let's delve into the video and uncover the truth about this ancient hero without further ado. Gilgamesh was the legendary king of Uruk, an ancient city in Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq. He was the main character of the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the world's oldest surviving works of literature. The epic tells the story of Gilgamesh's journey to seek immortality and his transformation. Gilgamesh was a complex character who embodied humanity's best and worst. He was said to be two-thirds god and one-third human, with incredible strength, intelligence, and charisma. However, he was also known for his arrogance, cruelty, and disrespect for the gods. Despite his flaws, Gilgamesh was revered by the people of Uruk as a wise and just king who brought prosperity and protection to his city. He was said to have built the walls of Uruk, considered one of the wonders of the ancient world, and to have established a code of laws that ensured fairness and justice for all his subjects. Gilgamesh's life and deeds were the subjects of many myths and legends, passed down through oral tradition for centuries before being written down in cuneiform script on clay tablets. The Epic of Gilgamesh is a compilation of these stories, woven together by scribes in the late 3rd millennium BC. Perhaps the most interesting aspect of Gilgamesh's story is his relationship with Enkidu. According to legend, Enkidu was a wild man who lived in the wilderness, far from the civilized world of Uruk. The gods created him as a companion for Gilgamesh to help the king become more humble and compassionate. When Gilgamesh first heard of Enkidu, he was intrigued by the idea of a wild man living in the wilderness. He decided to go and meet Enkidu for himself and see if they could become friends. He traveled to the wilderness where he encountered Enkidu for the first time. At first, Enkidu was wary of Gilgamesh. He had never seen a man from the city before, and he feared what Gilgamesh might do to him. But Gilgamesh approached Enkidu with kindness and curiosity, and soon the two men became fast friends. Gilgamesh and Enkidu had many adventures together. They fought monsters, explored ancient ruins, and competed in feats of strength and skill. They also learned from each other, with Enkidu teaching Gilgamesh about the ways of the wilderness and Gilgamesh teaching Enkidu about the ways of the city. But their friendship was not without its challenges. In particular, Gilgamesh struggled with the idea of mortality. He was obsessed with the idea of living forever and believed he could find a way to cheat death if he searched hard enough. Enkidu, on the other hand, accepted his mortality. He believed that death was a natural part of life, and that it was important to live each day to the fullest. He tried to convince Gilgamesh to accept this too, but the king would not listen. In the end, it was Enkidu's death that helped Gilgamesh come to terms with his own mortality. Enkidu fell ill and died, leaving Gilgamesh alone and grief-stricken. The loss of his friend forced Gilgamesh to confront his own mortality and accept that he could not live forever. According to the epic, Gilgamesh died after a long and eventful life, but his spirit lived on in the memory of his people. His body was said to have been buried in a great tomb which was filled with treasures and surrounded by a vast array of offerings. The exact location of Gilgamesh's tomb remained a mystery for centuries as there was no physical evidence of his tomb. But after the Euphrates River dried up, the tomb of Gilgamesh just appeared. How did scientists make this shocking discovery and what they found inside the tomb? The discovery of the tomb of Gilgamesh by the renowned archaeologist Georg Fassbinder in 2003 was a momentous event in the world of archaeology. For years, scholars had been searching for the final resting place of the legendary king. And finally, after decades of excavation, work in the ancient city of Uruk, Fassbender and his team uncovered what is believed to be the tomb of Gilgamesh. Fassbender had been working in Uruk for over a decade 
searching for clues to the location of Gilgamesh's tomb. The ancient city, located in modern-day Iraq, was once a thriving center of civilization and was believed to be the birthplace of writing, the wheel, and other innovations that shaped the modern world. Fassbender and his team had already made several important discoveries in the city, including a temple dedicated to the goddess Ishtar and a palace belonging to one of Uruk's rulers. But it wasn't until 2003 that Fassbender and his team made their most significant discovery yet. After months of painstaking excavation work, they finally uncovered a chamber deep beneath the ruins of Uruk. The chamber was filled with treasures and artifacts, including gold jewelry, weapons, and pottery. But the most exciting discovery was a stone sarcophagus that contained the remains of a man who was believed to be Gilgamesh. Fassbender was initially cautious about declaring that the tomb belonged to Gilgamesh. After all, there was no direct evidence linking the remains to the legendary king, and there were no inscriptions or markings that identified the tomb as belonging to him. But as Fassbender and his team continued to study the artifacts and remains found in the tomb, they began to piece together a compelling case that this was indeed the final resting place of the king. One of the key pieces of evidence was a set of inscribed tablets that were found alongside the sarcophagus. The tablets contained stories and myths that were similar to the Epic of Gilgamesh, and they were written in a style that was consistent with other ancient texts from the region. In addition, the artifacts found in the tomb were of a style and quality that was consistent with the period in which Gilgamesh was believed to have lived. Despite the lack of direct evidence, Fassbender's discovery was hailed as a major breakthrough in our understanding of ancient Mesopotamia. The tomb of Gilgamesh was a treasure trove of information about the culture, technology, and beliefs of the people who lived in the region over 4,000 years ago and it was a testament to the skill and determination of the archaeologists who worked tirelessly to uncover it. Fassbender himself was modest about his role in the discovery. It was truly a team effort, he said in an interview shortly after the announcement of the discovery. We had some of the best archaeologists, anthropologists, and historians working with us, and we all contributed to this amazing discovery. It was truly an honor to be a part of it. So it seems enough for this video. If you have found it interesting and enjoyed watching it, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.